The contribution of the ICT sector to the Kenyan economy is said to have increased significantly over the years. From innovations like M-Pesa to BRIC, the sector has become one of the fastest growing. Against this backdrop, Kenya held its first ever national innovation conference. The Silicon Savannah is a reality confirmed by transformative inv innovations conceived in the minds of Kenyans and implemented by Kenyan firms. Indeed, when it comes to ICT, Kenya requires no introduction to the world. When it comes to innovation, we as a country count among the leaders. I am happy to note that this is a forum dedicated to innovation. Innovation leads to wonderful solutions and indeed also helps us reduce the various challenges that face us. During the forum, it was asserted that the ICT sector remains a key driver of Kenya's Vision 2030 goals that will see the country attain the status of a middle-income nation. And at the new ICT master plan and part of Vision 2030 goals, we committed to create 180,000 direct jobs, develop globally competitive products, add 8% ICT contribution to GDP, and be a leading knowledge economy in Africa. But we also have a wider vision in transforming health agriculture, education, security, citizen, citizen services, to name a few. Technology, instead of existing as a peripheral value add, has the potential to cross sector change and to transform lives and the, and the communities in line with our digital Kenya promise. Indeed, through ICT, government has become more efficient, more accountable, and more transparent. Moreover, ICT remains the home of great promise for all of us Kenyans. Given our positive ICT experience, we fully expect the sector to play an even greater role in national development and governance. Indeed, that is why ICT is an integral component of our Vision 2030. Our own ICT master plan goes further to project that the sector can comfortably generate more than 180,000 jobs between now and 2017. The forum also created a platform to discuss challenges facing Kenyan innovators and opportunities in the ICT field. We need to mind the gap, a gap that exists because there's a disconnect between present and our future vision. Now it's the time to close the gap. We are the tipping point as an industry. We have been featured in numerous magazines, Time, Economist, and many other public, global publications. Won global awards. Some of the companies, Your Excellency, that you saw out there have won global awards even in the recent past. Kenya ICT innovation train has been rattling along, fueling innovations from M-Pesa to Shahidi to Brick to Fun Kids and getting international headlines that admire us. Let's be clear, our ICT brand is well known. It won't be only M-Pesa, a single example of well-known Kenyan innovation, but a countrywide army of similar and better commercial innovations that will create in future. Out of this meeting, we have very clear, measurable targets that we will deliver. And next time around, we are having uh, uh, roundtables with the private sector. We should be able to report on actual results that have been achieved as a result of this collaboration. And I want to commit on that particular aspect that we will deliver on our part to ensure that the commitments we have made as ministry, the commitments we have made as the ICT authority are delivered. The beauty about this government, Your Excellency, is because we have complete political will and leadership from the top that supports the work that we are doing. We are therefore grateful that we are moving forward together with the private sector to ensure that we create jobs we provide an opportunity for the growth of the innovation that's happening in our country and that we enhance the contribution of ICT to the GDP of our country. Despite strides made in the ICT sector, it was established that there is need to work with the private sector to achieve its desired goals. A great deal has been done to create what has become known as the Silicon Savannah. But there are still significant gaps in our approach that are holding back the ability of our local developers to make it to the top global list, such as fast companies. 
by harnessing the capabilities of both private and public sectors, we can formalize innovation ecosystems and make it a key driver of our economy. This is the second time uh, recently that we have seen successful partnership between government and the private sector uh, in ICT. The establishment of the Presidential Digital Talent Program is a classic example of that success, and we are moving on to institutionalize collaboration between government and the private sector to deliver results, because that is what's important for all of us. Innovation will contribute a lot to the growth of our economy. Your Excellency, we are on course looking at how we can meet the targets that you've given us in job creation and in establishing uh, frameworks that are friendly, especially an ecosystem that facilitates and supports uh, the growth of creativity.